Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to my New York City urban garden. It's garden tour day, so I'm going to walk around and show everyone how my garden is doing, but this week I'm only showing the front yard garden, the plot garden, the building that it's at, it's being painted right now, so there's a lot of stuff in front of it, it's a little messy, so it's hard to get to it, so I'm not going there for a few days and I won't be showing that in the garden tour this week but next week you'll definitely be there and get to see the uh, probably really great progress with two weeks of growth to start from the garden tour this week we did have a lot of rain still but the past couple days have been a little drier yesterday was really sunny so that was really good and the plants got a chance to dry a little bit and I haven't watered the garden for a while now because of all the rain and unfortunately the tomatoes are not very happy because Tomatoes are very prone to fungal disease and when their leaves stay wet for a while, they usually get sick that just favors and makes a favorable environment for those diseases to kind of bloom. So I've been heavily pruning my tomatoes here in a new pot, but some of them didn't make it. They're just, they got blight and even the fruit got blight on it. So I had to actually get rid of the whole plant so it wouldn't spread to my garden. So the only big tomato that I actually had to get rid of was the Shiroki purple. All of the other ones were cherry tomatoes. So let's get started and take a look at how the garden is looking this week. I'm gonna start on this side today. This is my little composting bean that I repurposed and there's more wooden composting there. Oh, look at those bees. So I don't remember what kind of squash this is, it's probably a winter squash, but it's getting really big and it's sending out some tendrils, as you can see here. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get this squash, make it climb this little shelf here that used to be my greenhouse. So let's see if we keep, I need it to grow a little bit more. I need to train it to try to come this way and then it'll climb up here. That would be really cool if that happens. And over there, my cilantro, it's almost dying, so it has bolted, which is great. So I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna save the roots to make curry paste, Thai curry paste, etc. And then I'm going to dry out that. I'm gonna hang upside down and dry it so I can use the seeds for cooking and also save some for next year. Over here, the raspberry hasn't really flowered yet. It's doing ni looking nice and healthy, but I don't see any flower buds. I was so excited for this raspberry bush. Oh, well, let's wait a little bit more. The atomic grape tomatoes also got kind of affected by all of this rain, so the leaves are not looking very good. But I, only, I still have a few fruit in here, so hopefully I'll be able to at least harvest those in there. Green stock peppers are finally starting to grow. I have something to eat in my peppers. I don't know what it is, if it's a beetle or a slug, but the leaves of some of the peppers here in the green stock have been chewed up by something. The ones up here too. We'll see. But this pepper here is looking really pretty. This is a Chinese five color pepper. Look, it's sending out these purple peppers and they turn color. See how this one here, it's cream. And so it goes from purple to cream, then gets yellow and orange and red. It's kind of cool. some carrots in here growing and this squash look at this this is a patty pan squash and <laughs> there's a little baby squash that I when the flower opened this week I actually hand pollinated which means this is a female flower when it has the fruit attached to it it's a female flower and this guy here that the bees were inside there's only a stem like this one it's gonna open those are male flowers. There are a lot of bees in my garden, as you can see, and they love to hang in the squash uh, flowers, but I also hand pollinate. So I got some of this, see that's the stem there, the pollen, you just can, just a little brush. Sometimes I even get the whole flower and I'll take the little stem in there and I'll just put it right into the, inside the male flower, the female flower, and that will pollinate it. So I did that with that one to make sure that that one's gonna turn into fruit. This green stalk here that was right behind me it's, it has this beautiful nasturtium on it. I'm really loving the color of these flowers. These orange flowers are so beautiful. And I actually 
got some more shives from it. I got some basil yesterday from both of these plants. So I got some cherry tomatoes. And this is what I did it last week. I took some down to as you guys seen, these guys are getting big and getting eaten up or something too. So I gotta kind of take a look. I've been busy, so I haven't been having a lot of time to stay at the garden and observe these things. But I tried this week and they're all full of little purple tomatoes. And this guy here that I've been not trying not to harvest because I want to see if this whole thing turns red because it looks so pretty. It's still a little firm, so I might be able to eat a couple more days. But look how pretty it is. Then it's kind of starting to get ripen all around. And here, this is from another plant. This is from a plant that's planted up here. These purple ones are planted on the bottom tier of the green stalk. And we also have this beautiful red nasturtium flowers from this very beautiful little nasturtium too. Beautiful red here. Alright. So the more squash in that plant too, the eggplant in that green stock to the eggplants looking really nice there is one I had a flower I think got pollinated so we're gonna have fruit soon on that eggplant there's another eggplant growing well here there's a little tomato plant that I should take it out of here I put it planted too late but let's see how that's gonna go and I'm ranch growing nice in here now my cucumbers and my beans are starting to turn yellow this is a long bean and that's the silver slice of cucumber that I harvested last time. There's another one that I it's growing over there. That the flower that I thought didn't get pollinated. And I think I mentioned that in the last video. But it's starting to get yellow, so it had a lot of rain. I'm thinking that I might have to fertilize with some nitrogen. Because blasting music at 6 a.m. in the morning. <sighs> Hard to have peaceful morning here in the city. Other than that, everything is looking fine. Peppers are looking okay. Look, does that right? I moved here to be in the front of the garden because I love this color. So I got some nice morning light here now. The raised beds. The tomatoes are doing okay. This is the last tomato standing because it's really purple. I had to cut it down because the leaves got, got blight. But this one is still looking pretty healthy and didn't want to sacrifice this one so Look at this guy, it's so big. So that's how that's looking over there. And then there's some space in there which is good. This raised bed's been too full so it's okay to get a little space in there. And here we have the squash. This one's finally picking up. This one already gave us some fruit and check this out. There's a little female flowers there too. This is going to be a green squash. It's a little bug but it's harmless, it won't really do anything. So once that opens, I'm going to hand pollinate it too. And okra didn't look like it very much from last week to this week. I have some eggplant doing good here. Swish, I remember I harvested. It's still doing okay. Some some new growth. And some flowers are looking beautiful. There are a lot more have bloomed. I have this little one here that was very nice but it's kind of skinny it's not a super healthy plant but i love the color of the green too all right it's a cucumber climbing over there the tomatillo is still only flowering not fruit yet kale got some holes from some cabbage moths i gotta get there and look at those leaves again the squash is doing good there this thing is huge it's like super tall it's beautiful though it's a couple bees in them now but another squash over there corn I had a couple corns in there just to see if they look good more zinnias here calendula there is looking really nice I'm gonna harvest and dry that flower with this one too and this is my favorite plant so big this is the corn pepper I showed this last garden tour but look how big it is Compared to the buena mulatas that are right next to it, still some beautiful big fruit in here. Lots still loaded with fruit. This one has a lot of peppers. Can't wait to harvest to make some hot sauce. 
and this beautiful little white plant here ready to harvest probably gonna harvest tonight a lot of them are big enough this is the as big as it gets and then the skin is gonna start turning color but it's already feels a little not so firm so it's ready to be picked and I have one tomato that's still doing good here that tomato really got white in the beginning on the bottom and I took out the bottom leaves and the bottom fruit the fruit had black on it too but I noticed that those guys didn't have the spots so I'm gonna see if that's going to recover otherwise I'm gonna have to get rid of that too unfortunately as well and this nasturtium just died I'm so sad it was very beautiful I don't know why I fertilized it a little bit but it still didn't just just didn't make it little purple kale here from the kale seeds that I collected from the kale you guys have been seeing here I collected the seeds and I planted one here and already sprouted so this is officially going to be for the fall garden isn't it crazy it's already time mid-summer to start sowing some fall crops and this kale is still looking really nice nice and big I'm so thankful for this kale I have eaten a lot out of it and so great because you can just harvest a few leaves and have it for lunch or dinner so it's been working out really good i'm very happy it didn't bolt this little beautiful basil growing that tomato pot there with a swiss shard i have to cut that swiss shard i keep saying that i keep forgetting oh there's another borage that came out over there look at these pretty blue flowers these love them This guy here, it's getting really big and it's about to start flowering, so I'm very really excited to see what color flower. I think it's, that one's going to be yellow. Alright everyone, so thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this video here. I'm sure I to live in New York City and the street is really busy, so it's really hard to spend Christmas harder to keep filming these videos. It's very early in the morning, you can see the morning light here, but I still see that never sleeps next week i'm gonna make a bigger one so i'm going to show the pot garden too this will, should be very exciting because you guys don't see it for two weeks of the growth you should be able to see a lot of girls and I'm, I'm excited for that and hopefully we have another harvest by next week too some zucchini and maybe some tomatoes i can't wait for the tomatoes to start getting ripened a lot of them the little ones are have been harvesting a lot the cherries but it's still not at the time where all of them turn red. So if you have any questions, please just put them in the comment box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.